So well, that, hey. you know, I mean, it, it's definitely the uh, the videos and stuff that you've been doing, the, like the facts chat and yeah. that, been good. You know, everybody sort of enjoyed it, and uh, you know, seeing like different videos and different clips and yeah. uh, tips. We, and we really want to start having a look at getting up some proper tips. You know, like cause there's no out there really. There's a couple of videos out where people are saying wheelchair rugby league is like running game and the the generic bob standard this is rugby league we like rugby league and tap the ball on the floor we want something like that's a bit more down to earth and yeah. so people can just be like like if i were going up to a school and i were telling a kid about how to play wheelchair rugby league i'd be like it's awesome yeah. I'd, I'd be like this is what it, it's going to be doing you've got to tap the ball on the floor but you're going to get hit and it's awesome and you're gonna it's like actually playing rugby it's not it's the closest thing to rugby league. No, it is rugby league. It's better than it, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely it's a much faster game for me. It's it's a brilliant game, and it's obviously it's it's done wonders uh, for the likes of myself and you, and obviously your brother and everybody else that's ever played it. You know, and things. It's it is. It's like no other sport, really. I, I mean, obviously we know me. I'm, I'm I do sevens as well, but obviously the the sports having that inclusivity. Yeah. and everything else and it's just it's just simple yeah. on, on the inclu inclusive side of it sort of thing like we'll, we'll put the question to rest so you don't get asked it anymore yeah. Mark Williams relation or not relation <laughs> <laughs> no no he's not he's not he's not a relation you uh, it first <laughs> yeah yeah no it was yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we always laugh about that at training like we, basically we're the minions we're called because <laughs> uh, we're always messing around and uh, getting us to trouble so yeah that's what we are so. <laughs> yeah but the, uh, uh, you um I've seen on your Facebook because I've been Facebook stalking you before. Oh, nice! And uh, yeah, that's it. But, uh, did you used to play running basketball? <laughs> I did. Yeah, uh, I was uh, used to play uh, running basketball f since I was about eleven. Um, and basically, uh, when I was about, well, let's see, what am I? Thirty-four now, about twenty-nine, thirty-ish. Uh, I injured, injured my knee. Uh, but I didn't know for about two years what had actually gone wrong with it. Carried on playing. <clears throat> Carried on playing as best I could, and and I, in that time I'd already started playing wheelchair rugby league, um, and I was I I couldn't ever imagine never playing basketball uh, because it had been so much in my life. Uh, people had always said, "Oh, you're Stu, basketball Stu." Mm -hmm. You know, everybody knows me for that, and uh, used to do loads of coaching and things, and I never really imagined the day without basketball. But now it's kind of the other way around. Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine a day without rugby <laughs> league or rugby sevens or anything like that, really, because yeah, it's it's like a drug. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it is. It's uh, it's great. And obviously, when I found out what had done to me, knee and the doctors had said, "Look, no more basketball," um, because you won't be able to walk if, if you keep playing like that. Um, and I just thought, well, okay, then fine. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it, it did. It wasn't such a <coughs> hit to the system because I had something there which was rugby You started league, your transition so. before your actual disability. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it was it was good. I mean, obviously my, my disability is, is epilepsy, but obviously that's yeah. um, that's the other beautiful thing about the sport is, is like, obviously with the fact that I'm epileptic, yeah, it does, it affects my my coordination at times or, you know, I can fatigue quite well, yeah. you know, quite quickly. Uh, sometimes I just get very confused uh, from time to time, but that's just normal, I think, really. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just human behaviour. That's just it? human behaviour, really. But, yeah, it's it's a great thing because, obviously, you get to play with so many people from different you know, walks of life, different you know abilities and disabilities, if you like. And, yeah. uh, and it's great. It's just an awesome, awesome experience. Yeah. I was talking with um, Fred Nye from Argonauts. Yeah. And we were, we were talking about the... Uh, what was the word now? The word was, um, it's like a innocent ignorance around at the moment when especially when you're going to talk about trying to plug wheelchair rugby league yeah. and everyone's like oh yeah i've seen that on the telly and it's like you, you haven't no you you, you haven't <laughs> you, you, you definitely haven't you've seen it on you've seen murder ball and, and, yeah. whatnot, and there's that the ignorance on that but also the trying to get more people involved in the sport it was something fred was saying he, he was talking to someone who found up so much tube and they were in a wheelchair i think he had it was a single lamp yeah but he'd asked him, um, oh, have you ever been interested in playing wheelchair rugby league? Have you ever heard of wheelchair rugby league? And the guy says, oh, no, I don't. I'm not one of them. Them <laughs> like, what? One of them. I, like, I mean, what chance have you got when the d disabled players yeah. think the worst of the sport? They're thinking like that. And it's, it's I, I think, you know, 
The difference, I think, where the misconception lies is obviously we have we have a sport out there, wheelchair rugby, which is murder ball, yeah. as we all know. It, it is what it is. It's murder ball it's or it quad, it's got a job, quad rugby, yeah. and it and it and it's a it's a great sport for you know what it was designed for originally when it was in, designed it was in Canada. The armies, was it? Yeah, yeah, basically, it was for basically people were rehabilitating. Uh, as I understand it, they were rehabilitating. They couldn't play basketball because the 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 functionality they couldn't the actually disability was yeah. a lot more severe. Yeah. yeah, so they couldn't do that. So they they adapted a game, and it's fantastic. But the problem, I I mean, this is me personally, and I think it's sounded out by a lot of others is calling it wheelchair rugby it's causes confusing. massive confusions. Because like when I like you get you probably get this or have had this where you you sort of talk to somebody, you go, oh yeah, I play wheelchair rugby league, and they go. What the one in the Olympics? And you go mm, no. no, and they go, well, why are you yeah. playing it? And, and you think, like, well, and then you got to go into the conversation, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. inclusiveness, and, and yeah. uh, overball. A lot of people <laughs> really don't understand why we're we're inclusive. Yeah. They don't they don't see the thing. That a lot of people do see the the A B players as you know the, the cheaters really, <laughs> and it, it's again it's like asking that question. How are you going to get people to? see it for for what it is sort of thing like yeah it's it, i think it's funny because like you say people go oh, well that's not fair you're you're able-bodied you know mm. uh, how, how can you play yeah. the sport because you've got surely an advantage and you go well kind of yeah i've got yeah. a strength advantage maybe strength but advantage. i haven't necessarily got a maneuverability advantage of somebody who Still uses a wheelchair. step or jump exactly yeah. you know what i mean it, and we're all we're all strapped in we're all playing at the same height and yeah. pre well pretty much anyway unless you're Andrew Higgins who ends up with a basketball chair <laughs> that's like two foot high. Sometimes I think he's got like a crank at the side it just if, cranks it up a bit yeah. before he goes into the tackle. What it is is he's got a really really elastic spine so he just like <laughs> sort of like pulls himself up and stretches it out but uh, it's it is it's a, it's a strange thing because um, I, I don't know sometimes I feel like there's a bit of a divide with people you know from all different areas and groups whether it's it's acceptable or not. Yeah. Me personally, if you if you talk about inclusiveness in life and inclusiveness in everything, then what's the problem at yeah. the end of the day? You can't have it one way and have it another yeah. for everything else. It's got to be across the board. And this sport and obviously other sports like it um, help that yeah. at the end of the day. I've, I've, I've talked with uh, Wayne Boardman about it a lot. And obviously um, with the basketball, they have a classification system, That's don't it, they? Yeah. And I know the French have started using one. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people have complained about it at the moment because like, like I thought, I thought I don't think it's ready for classification yet but what the idea me and Wayne share is eventually there has to be classification because mm. like you say inclusive, inclusive is inclusive so the, the second you start uh, and classification is going to push people away mm. in that sense A, B is to not play as much or hire uh, you know, people with less of a disability yeah. uh, uh, we're not going to be able to play as much but I think it has to happen at some point because when yeah. if you think when we get a lot of play if you think of um, yeah, like the England side if you mm. had three Sebs and, yeah. uh, and then two Jack Browns it's yeah. like eventually what's the point in taking win well yeah I, I agree and I think I think that the the principle that we have is, is that obviously um, there's five players on the pitch you've got three uh, that have to be disabled or you know, registered disabled and then two ABs or you can go with a complete five ratio and things yeah, like that these. and it and it's um, and I think that, that that's not a bad thing really it's working, I it? mean it's working and it and it works well and from the point of view of yeah you look like well how are you going to get these people other people playing it and things well that's that's up to the dynamic of the sport we've got to we've got to encourage more people to play it and and eventually, you know, people like yourself or me and that will, will sort of step away and, and obviously other people will come in just because of I obviously think that'll be because of my age, to be honest. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> well, that's because of the age, yeah, exactly. But uh, and it, there will be opportunities for other people to come in. And um, obviously, it, I think it's, it, it comes down to the whole how you, how you envision a disabled person. Because yeah, at times. That, that's I've seen them pictures on Facebook where they're going around a lot where it's uh, the men's bathroom sign and then the disability sign and so which one of these is, is disabled yeah. ah, both both yeah exactly and I think that's what the misconception is especially when you say you play a wheelchair sport because like, um, they go why, why are you playing why? a wheelchair yeah. sport because you don't use a wheelchair well 
Why not? Even even um, Nathan Mullall from our team gets mm. that because he walks everywhere. He's got a, yeah. He's got CP. I see, well, I seen that crazy video that happened when you were at the Fax game, where the guy asked him to get out of the oh, disabled yeah. zone. I would. Uh, oh. <laughs> There's a funny was, story oh, about. That. I mean, Akko terrible. says it in the video, but uh, Jade, my wife, was stood up. Yeah. And Akko offered his seat to it. Akko's yeah. Yeah, only got one limb. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he said, "Oh, Jade, go on, you sit down here." And she, then she sat down next to Mullall. And yeah. the guy came over and asked and told Mullall that these seats are for disabled, not Jade. No, was, no, no. Yeah, it's it's so Jade got to sit there, but no, Malcolm went off on him. No, I, 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 I don't blame him to be honest. We saw him there the other week, actually. The, the same guy. Oh, did you? Work at car park now. <laughs> <laughs> He's not working in the disabled section, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, you're clearly not very good with people. Uh, yeah, go, people go, in the, yeah, <laughs> go work in the car park. Just look after the cars. I love it. Oh I mean, no, it's, it, but it's, it's it's a crazy thing, isn't it? It's the misconceptions and of. Uh, uh, you know what it actually is and what it looks like and like it's like that uh, sometimes people say what's a lazy person look like and obviously you ask them to draw it and they'll always draw, always draw someone a fat person. fat person don't they <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean it's not necessarily a fat person that's just it's been just... drilled into us from child or isn't it yeah everything in the news and the papers everything but like this that does that but this is what it, this is what it does in this sport as well it, you know it try, it, it's and I think the good the good thing about this boy is that you've got us lot who are all I, well, I'd say that everybody seems to be happy with the case in point that it is played by people who, yeah, can generally get up and walk around and things mm -hmm. like that, but they may have a hidden disability that you don't know about. And there may be people who are able-bodied and they play as well. And everybody plays together and it's wheelchair users and it's it's everybody across yeah. the board. And nobody really mm -hmm. minds. Everybody loves it because it's just people, competitive. I think what people need to see is the, the side of it where you have you can have a disabled player mm. and, and you know put Wayne up against uh, an AB another AB I'm not making any names or anything like that putting him up but Wayne's a I can't remember the number but his spinal break really high yeah and like that's a really close to being quad sort of thing yeah and it's like you put him up against it he, he can run rings around it, a lot oh, of hell. ABs and it's like yeah. if people could see that hang on you're an AB you're, you have to be stronger and faster than him Wayne can Wayne can outrace me sometimes. That's it's like, it. it, it is. The, the guy's got no car. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. And I think that's I think that's definitely the funny bit is is like a lot of people have this image that obviously, oh, you, you obviously got nothing actually structurally physically wrong with your spine or your you know your legs and things like that. So you mu you must be strong enough to be able to beat everybody in a chair. You yeah. think? Oh, that's it's just it's, there's so it's, many aspects to it as well. Like the chair that you're using, the tires, are, are exactly. Every, every, there's so many things that go into it that could. It's like motorsport. But obviously yeah. you're 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 driving it. Yeah. Literally. Like if you stick Hamilton in a, in a different car, he's not going to be going first, second, all time, is he? Well, that's it exactly. And it, you know, I, I think we we are at a point where with the sport, I I'd hope personally that the classification thing, they do it the right way. Yeah, it's just got it's got to be well thought out, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because if they if they do, if they don't do, sorry, if they don't do it the right way, you're going to end up. Pull, pulling the sports apart. That's what I think is happening in France. A lot of teams have pulled out of the sport completely because of it because they can't field a legal team. Yeah, and that's what's the point of that? At the end of the day, you want people yeah, to. We've always said uh, active and Martin want people. Coyne, yeah. yeah, you want people to be competing. You want people to, if anything, have something to do. Yeah. Because that's what it's about. Is so what? There's people who will have aspirations of, you know, playing for the nation and uh, like, like yourself and me and. And then there'll be other people who just enjoy the social side of it. But if they get told that they can't go and play in a game because, yeah. you know, they, they don't quite reach the classifications, then yeah. isn't that discrimination yeah. in itself? It is, yeah. It's I, 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 I was doing basketball co coaching for a fair few years and, mm. and nothing worse from a coaching perspective. I think you've done basketball coaching, yeah, you? yeah. obviously. But like the wheel, have you done, ever coached wheelchair basketball? I, I've, I've tried doing a bit of it. It's, it's hard for when, you, when, when you're in a game, you need a calculator but I, and, and oh, you need yeah. all the lists on it and you're like, right, that person's flagging, so I need to sub him on. But I can only if do I take this. him off, I've got to take three other players off to put these two on and I have to play that person, but that person's tyre's broken. And you're just like, why can't I just the players on that we want to play on yeah. I want to put my best five on and then I want to put this development player on but you just can't you've got a kid who wants to play who's really good you're like yeah so, sorry we can't play you or yeah. we can't feel the legal team and, and then you got well it, now it's, it's, it's gone even uh, odder I think in the, in the basketball thing because I remember it was like you get 
if someone's under the age of eighteen or something in the in the in the league, oh, yeah, they, they you lose, get you they get they like lose, negative uh, half a point. Yeah, half a point. If you've got if a you're one, we, we also say the, the golden player for basketball was a, a girl under eighteen <laughs> who was a one pointer. You, you, uh, Coral, no, Coral yeah. Coral Bear, oh yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Coral's Coral. a one pointer. Yeah, and then she plays as minus five points. See, when she was a junior, she played as like minus a point. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> just like well, she's getting all the game time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I hope you're conditioned. <laughs> I hope you're not going to flag because uh, you're staying on whether you like it or not. I was briefly touched on um, the international side of things now. Yeah. So you're obviously captain of Wales still, are you? That's right. I'm not yeah. Gonna, I'm not going to jump the gun on that or anything. But no, <laughs> we, 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 well, we announced the the, uh, the team for the Celtic Cup the other day. Yeah, uh, I was uh, got announced as captain again. So, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's one hell of an honour, um, and it, you know, it, it means a lot to us to be honest. There uh, to be, just, well, just to be there, and just to be in the team, but obviously to have that, um, you know, if you like, honour that true yeah, the, honour, like knighthood. It's there's almost one thing a, we've, al- we've always um, been uh, impressed with with Wales is is how close your team is. Yeah, yeah the, the Welsh and, and North Wales Crusaders, but. Especially at international level, all you guys—it's like you—you've all got the same mum and dad. You're all obviously. I'm going back to Mark Williams now, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But it, you, you have got a really good close knit team, and I know it's like a cliche thing to say, but you generally, I know one else is like everyone's got. Most teams got clicks and things like that, yeah. and it just seems like you really are united. And uh, I, 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 and I remember watching Celtic Cup last year, and that's yeah. coming up soon, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, at the end of the month. End, end of the, of the month. month yeah. I can't go to that. I'm away. Oh, I'm good. I, I'm gutted as well because it was great having you down there doing some filming. Yeah, you know, sure. That's when I saw Roma because I was talking about uh, Steve from Roma. Yeah. And the, uh, yeah. but um, I've seen Ireland getting set up and Scotland getting set up yeah. as well. So I bet it's going to be a great one. Yeah, and I, I like it because this is my fourth Celtic now, and uh, the first one was it was great. It was in Blackpool. Um, I mean, and that one too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was a good experience, um, and we won and everything else. And then we had the next one in Scotland, um, Stirling. Unfortunately, it wasn't really as competitive as we, we would hope. I mean, you know, it is an unfortunate situation. Yeah. I think we only we only conceded one try across the two games, um, which was a bit it felt a bit weird, really, it, to be it, honest. Yeah. You know, and uh, but then I was really chuffed with last year's Celtic Cup at D side. Because you know, the barbarians the, team they put in was yeah, really strong. It really it was brought a new dynamic, didn't it? It was brilliant, and the, and the the, the, the level the uh, the competitiveness was there the entire time, and it was just fantastic. Great game. And I was so pleased for Scotland and obviously the the Irish barbarians that were there um, because it was it was challenging and it, it felt like a great atmosphere and it felt like a really competitive yeah. game. We had to be on on our on our toes all the. Excuse yeah. me, but you know, yeah. mainly we had to be, we had to be on edge all the time. We were like, can't make mistakes. You know, it was great. Uh, it was well thought out, and I'm looking forward to this year as well. And I hope it happens again. Yeah. If anyone hasn't seen the um, the Celtic Cup from last year, I'm sure Argonauts have got it up on their page. I think they they filmed it all, yeah. all the games. I think we might have had some, but I don't think we were able to put it up. But they'll be able to check them out on YouTube yeah. and find them. So. Do you remember where it is? It's, um, is it? I don't know actually. The top of the head. I'll, have to, I'll have to find it out. I might put it in the descriptions and stuff. Yeah. But the, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward Sorry. to that. There's a, there's a new feeling for this this season, isn't there? Um, I can't remember. I don't know if I saw you at the launch. Yeah. 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 But the the talk there, there's like a real like energy boost this season coming through. Like we're getting from above anyway. Yeah. And we're seeing a lot more games with a lot of more teams. If we've got who's come out now, we've got Army. Yeah, you got a, you got an army team, and I think there's a new, is it Newcastle Falcons, the actual yeah. running team, are uh, looking to start formulating a team together, um, and then obviously oh, who's the Warrington Wolves, is it? Warrington Wolves, yeah. yeah, that's another one exactly, and and to me that's a really good thing is when you've got the Super League teams, the actual you know the the, the running game, actually getting on board, and actually yeah. you know to, to, you know to in, having an inclusive squad. Um, because it just shows that they're committed yeah. and it means that then the entire rugby league setup is fully committed yeah. you know it's not just you got rfl and yeah. then you got the wheelchair branch off to the side no yeah. it's everything's yeah they really are integrating it all together i know yeah. from a, on an england side of things with the people who are telling 
all the running teams what to do and, and so they're telling us what to do as well we've, got, we've all got the same boss now we're all getting told off by Kevin Sinfield and stuff like that I must be interested <laughs> like, yeah, what an I who's this guy shouting at me I was, oh it's you Kevin I just <laughs> the funny, the funny, I actually met Kevin uh, a few years ago we got I scored some tickets to Challenge Cup final oh nice I got them off uh, Martin Coyd it was day uh, and I proposed to Jade that day oh did you yeah uh, yeah we had they'd set up me and Jim Simpson to have a talk with Sky or something oh yeah and we were doing a lot of talk on the stage and then Martin had sorted it out so that they'd after we'd done this conversation said Jackie I think you've got something to ask so I had to stand up in the VIP lounge and Kevin Sinfield and everyone all of these amazing stars from rugby league are all there <laughs> and then I've got a propose to Jade like that and Jade always told me don't you ever propose to me in front of a massive crowd <laughs> <laughs> and I did it at Wembley <laughs> Stadium <laughs> on Fox not on the um, Sky News swear, yeah. Sky News and, and uh, I'm going to pay for a drink for the rest of the day then. No, that's all right. We got, to, we got to sit in Royal Box and everything. Did you? Yeah. Nice. Well, I've Whoa. got a proper look. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, just, uh, she can't say no. Can no, she? no, yeah. So I was it's like, like, no, I'm all right, thanks. Don't want to do that. No. But, but that was not a reflection of how I was going to be living my life anyway. I've no. never been there again or got anything <laughs> close to something that cool. Do you, know, do you know what? Maybe you need to get a divorce and then just get just back together again, and yeah. see what happens. You know I, what I, mean? I heard some, a story with someone on Facebook and they were putting videos up and every, it was a married couple and every time they went for a meal, they proposed again. So they took, <laughs> the we, they took the wedding rings off and proposed at every meal so they'd get free desserts or champagne. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's crafty but awesome for the same time. No. <laughs> But uh, no, I mean that's, that sounds like an absolutely fantastic experience right there, and that, and that, you know that's that's the really nice thing is is obviously, you know, you get to experience these things as a, as an international, uh, you know, you get to go best, yeah, that's I think, see some crazy stuff. I, I think at the, at the beginning when it all started off when it was right back in the olden days. Back in the older days, that, you really make yourself old. sound old here, buddy. I am old, mate. I'm old. I, I remember. How old are you? Twenty-eight. 84, get over it. <laughs> yeah, I get knocked out of my chair more than you. Look. <laughs> that's true, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I remember all the way back to 2005, the first one, when we were posing as GB and no one, no one was involved or anything like yeah. that. And I, I, I count myself extremely lucky to be to see wheelchair rugby league. It's, it is like a sort of baby, and sort of followed it all the way through. And yeah, no, you've been there from the beginning, and it's 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 amazing because like. You do have uh, an incredible, um, if you like, stardom in the fact that like people know your name. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter where you, you know who you're talking weird, to around the to me that. But that's a great thing. That's an absolutely that awesome is. thing, you know. Because and like, my mates at the pub, at the pub and stuff like that, and, and they're talking about yeah, I get I get chip all time, and I'm just like, oh yeah, wheelchair famous. Wheelchair famous. It's like no, it's not. It's like, I'm not, not no. It's, I think I think there's just. Um, it works best when I think people are just genuine. Yeah, and I, I generally, I can't really think of any anybody in the sport who doesn't enjoy meeting everybody and actually looking forward to playing each other and things like that. Yeah, yeah I've, I've, been ba I've seen it in basketball when we play games. There's, there's a, sometimes you finish a game and people are just like, oh, sod this, I'm, lost, I'm going out. And, yeah. and there's that much respect in rugby league, in, in the running game too. But it's just like you just don't see so much camaraderie uh, between rival teams and stuff like that. No. Us and Leeds, I mean, we've got a massive rivalry now at the oh, moment. Oh, God, yeah, they, it's huge. We, we, we love them guys. Yeah. They, it's, they, we get on so well, we're all mates, and, and I, I, I like seeing Nathan Mullow and, and Tom Alliwell getting together, because they're just, the banter, like, they both play for, in, in Halifax, or they both play in Leeds, and, and I think that's a great thing about the, the sport, is that people are, it's that friendly, it's just, well, that's it. Such a good environment. Well, we had the good banter today in our game, and I mean, it was like, yeah, we we were actually really pleased with our first half performance uh, because we know what you guys are capable of, and, and we felt like we did a really good job, you know, at sort of slowing the pace down a bit and completing sets. And then obviously, there was a point where obviously you always in a game, you always go whether it's wheelchair rugby or basketball or any any sport. You realise that the game is kind of out of reach. Yeah. Even though you want to keep playing and you want to, you always want to keep striving to to, to push hard, and that's what we were doing. But you do kind of realise that yeah. <laughs> there's a point where you know you're not going to come back from this. 
and I love it because as much as you, you will always compete to the end, everybody will always be focused and you know trying. There's always a time for a bit of a laugh and a joke. Yeah, always. Like, uh, we we were doing it um, in grand final when Leeds were, were dicking us in that first half. We, we we're still having a laugh with them and joking and stuff like that. And I think Jordy put I put Jordy in the eye or something like that. by accident, not on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> a straight I'm, finger. Uh, just, Abby. But she just says I'll get you back for that. And I think two plays later she absolutely say almost swear. She almost she <laughs> smashed me clean out and in, into off touch and everything. Proper made a fool of me. Oh, but no. To be able to hurt somebody and the best of it straight <laughs> after it it's just it's unheard of really isn't it yeah it's, it's do you know what though i think i, lo- I, lo- I like it because it's it is what rugby is it like is whether it's w- yeah rugby league or rugby union you know it's in the running games you you go out you knock the hell out of each other and this that and the other but you always clap for each other and pat each other on the back and have yeah. a say good game and it's great that it's it's the same in the wheelchair sport. Um, yeah, there's a there's a big um, appreciation for the the sport itself in the players, and you see that because when yeah, I have to, you might have heard wearing them the kicks from Harry Jones today, getting them off them sticks. Turn, turn, <laughs> I, I'm going to lose sleep over them. Oh. They were kicking and they're bouncing off the sticks and, and just landing straight on your players or back in his lap, and then they're over there. I'm just like. What do we do? <laughs> it's like the first time I'm like, okay, that's a fluke. Yeah. It's not going to happen again, guys. And then it happens again. And I put Wayne's going from that perspective. You guys are scoring points on us. That's supposed to be negative. We're going, what a kick! And yeah, yeah. And you, exactly. you're applauding it in, in the game as it's going, sort of thing. And we 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 said the same. There was a, there was a point in play where uh, your, your guys uh, in the second half they took us down on the left hand side, and there was just these. Absolutely down the line, pa- hands passing. Absolutely, That's where they went back and forth. Didn't yeah, they? But and everyone and touched it. Everyone touched it, and then, in even though we had a player on everyone, there was a point where the one of the players came off of the defence, and literally these sort of sort of sideways half back passes were coming off, and we we just all just went. Well, there's nothing you can do with that, is there? <laughs> <laughs> He's just going. That was just sexy rugby. <laughs> you just couldn't. You, you got to applaud it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, there's no point in getting down about it because at the end of the day, there's just yeah. no chance of stopping yeah. something like that. It's either going to be the luck of the bounce, or you know, yeah. or it's not. Yeah, I love it. But uh, yeah, so today, the score was, I have to put it, 86-44 to Halifax. Nice. Quite happy with it. To be, well, of course, I'm happy with it. Oh, of course, you, <laughs> if you were disappointed, there'd be something wrong. Seriously, it's going like that. Yeah, but I yeah. really hated that score, 86. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but no, I like I say, our guys, we generally were really pleased. I mean, obviously, yeah, we we want to be closer, and we, we're going to get there. Um, it's going to take it's going to take a lot of hard work. Um, I, you know, I just remember saying to our guys, stop being so robotic about the plays how we're setting the plays up yeah. be a little bit more freewheeling with the ball like you guys yeah, we all we always we have a, we have players yeah what we what we what we aim to do is we don't make players to score we make players to um give us options so rather that's than, a great idea rather than um saying right we're going to do you got a one you got a three and then pass to four and he'll be over for a try because defense is reactive and they can change so we yeah. always say right we're going to work this that's going to manipulate the defensive line and that's going to create a gap so then do what you do can with comes, that yeah. do what you can with that run, run and just teaching normal crosses and little things to do then yeah it, it lets the players develop better as well because they learn the, the the thought side of it because it's a massive part of it. I mean, it's one of the main reasons Wayne's so successful in rugby league you know he's not the fastest player no. but he, he's not the most maneuverable but he can read the game better than I've, than anyone I've met. He, no, yeah. he knows where where people are going to be before they do, and and that's that definitely that basketball sort of like mentality coming in there, like knowing where your players yeah, knowing are, knowing how chair, chairs move, exactly, and how yeah. to react to them and things like that. And he do, and he does it so well. He does do he offloads really really well, you know, to the point where you just think you don't think he's going to do it. You you can see him looking. At he's I gonna don't do either. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't off look like you get caught off guard by some of the passes. That's it's just, it's like you've got Velcro hands. That's it doesn't matter though. He's just, you're just you going to catch it. He puts it somewhere in that big circle, yeah. wherever my hands can reach, and holds back <laughs> and catches the damn thing. 
Oh. And then calls it a good pass. Yeah, he's yeah, just like, yeah, great catch, mate. Yeah, thanks, man. I just face planted the wall, thanks to you. <laughs> but it, no, it's, it, it is it's great chemistry. And I was, I was saying to the, I was saying to our guys before. It's like I remember when I first started in the in the league, um, and I was playing you guys, and you, you you it was mainly it felt like it was mainly Wayne and you, right? And then you yeah, obviously you had the three yeah. and it. But I tell you what, the, the development of the rest of your players now is yeah, just Rob and the raw. Yeah. Uh, they've uh, it's just gone right through the roof, yeah. and it's it's. it's the thing. I think the turning point for us was um, when me and Wayne knew what we were doing. We were saying, "Mate, look, we're we're, we're doing everything. It's not this isn't going to work," sort of thing. Yeah. And and people are going to shut that down. So we we decided that the game is now. Then we've got to get these guys finishing because yeah. and. It, that's a hard thing for a lot of players to do to when they've come from that it's like a natural progression a player who's very maneuverable in the chair will be one that scores a lot of tries mm. but then once they learn to not be a try scorer and be a play playmaker, playmaker yeah. that's the that's the golden ticket then and when if you have i'd rather have five playmakers than five try scorers you know what i mean well that's it isn't it you know you need you need that you need the people who are going to be willing to make that extra extra pass unselfishly and, and it will make the difference yeah. you know all in all because Think, thinking about the five men not the the try line yeah exactly you know it's, it's a big thing it's like i said to uh, our player lucy today um she was getting really wound up because she wasn't sort of touching the ball so much and i said yeah but lucy you've got to remember you coming up up one side screaming for the ball is distracting the defender yeah. to think if this person gets it, I've got to stop them. That's a hard. It's hard thing to. It's a hard thing to, to be. teach. Yeah. To teach to, to be able to be the in brackets dummy dummy runner. The dummy runner, thing. yeah. But exactly. the thing is that you, it's still an option. It's a crucial role as well because at the end of the day, if you're just taking one drive, yeah, it's, it's defended easy, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You, you've I, got five players running at you, health eleven, and you don't know which one of them's going to get. You have to singly defend every single one of them. Exactly. And I said this to her, and about I think it was about three three sets later. Um, we scored a try because I I managed the, to come through. She made the run through she the middle because I'd drawn two defenders in and she screamed right. And I was like, this is the time now. Yeah. Plonked it down to it. And then she did a quick offload to Harry and then to Gary yeah. in the corner. Yeah, I and like it, that one. And I said, I said to her, I said, look, that's what I'm talking about. So I said, look, you didn't touch the ball for like 90% of the game. <laughs> when you did, it counted. But, but it counted <laughs> you with the one that made the try at the end of the day. So. Yeah, it's. It, I think it's a really hard thing to teach young people as well. That, and yeah, no, no disrespect like, to anybody like yeah, Lucy like or anyone, to. but it's a hard thing for people to grasp not being the try scorer. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm always very self-conscious when I am scoring tries, sort of thing, to, to congratulate players on and really enforcing that you know that was a team effort try because the, the North three seasons ago and everyone was saying, oh, you take Jack out of the game and Halifax are useless. And it's like, well, no, because. These guys are, are creating the space for me then, mm. and now now the space isn't there for me. I've got to set them up, so it's completely role reverse there. Yeah. But they, I always made a point. I felt bad that I'm scoring all the tries, and I thought I was taking something away from them. But now it's now it's more like if that does happen, I do score a try. We've got young Tom Green. He's not here today, but mm. he, he's new upcoming single amp, and he's really good. But he's he's pushing, when he's doing all the lines and everything. He might not be scoring many tries, but the amount of tries we're getting because at that number that. four and two because he's keeping his winger true. And I'm just like, mate, that might as well be your try. And so every time we score a try, it's always like, that was you, that. And I, I, don't, I never try to take credit for a try. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what I mean? You, I think that's what you've got to be. You've got to be humble about it. And I think you always have been. And I always, I always remember this. You always do this bloody going in as a juggernaut. You go in. And you get took hit side on by uh, one or two chairs, and you sort of like lift up <laughs> so high, it's just impossible to get the tag. And then you do this basketball dump off to the left or right, whichever wing is there, yeah, and they always score in the corner. It's just like ah, oh, just nightmare. It's the making. It, the same way we, we were <coughs> terrified today because we, when we get you on the try line, we're like, you're going to be hard to see. You, you're, you're coming at your your full speed. There's yeah. not much you can do. I thought. Rob did well today to, to Oh, he did a belter. I mean, Absolute belter. I mean, job. he broke his wheel. But. Well, yeah, I broke his pin, and I'll take that pride. Yeah, take that, know, as a win. Pride, yeah, that was a try for me right there, yeah. I tell you. But, uh, and, and that's, I, I like that idea of sort of when someone's pulling in and how to defend it, you might go, 
and it, it is fear. That's what it is. When, when you're coming steaming, I, I'm like, Rob, do you want to take this one? <laughs> I'm like, well, you got, I think, you know what, we all have a good time. And I, I go in there, obviously, like me and Steve Halsey, you know, obviously we've got these quite big chairs and we're quite big guys and Gary as well. And, you know, we go in and we, we know... We know barreling through is not going to necessarily do it. You got, you know, there's a little bit more to this game. Looking like you're going to do that, always yeah. will draw two players. Exactly, and that's the that's the what you hope is is that you will draw two players to try and stop you. And then when you've got two players on you, that means there's an open player yeah. somewhere. Um, but it, it's, uh, do you know what I could talk? Sometimes about? it works. The, the person doesn't so, have the chair position yeah. right, and they bounce off, and you score a try as well. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, um, some people call it bullying. I just call yeah, it, you know, tough love. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I scored a try. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's it is it, it's great. I, mean, I I do I do love it when actually like um, like Rob, um, he was he was a young lad, and he's he just, tiny. He's <laughs> tiny, but I do and I love going at them because I just think, do you know what? I love the attitude of I'm not backing down from this guy, and yeah. it, you know what I mean. He just it takes it, takes it. Like, and it, it takes fair play because if I happened. land on him, I'm 18 stone <laughs> and a chair. That's not going to be a nice landing, you know what I mean? So yeah. fair crack to the guy. <laughs> he takes it. Yeah, he's uh, fearless, isn't he? Yeah. But um, I think we will leave it there, though. Yeah. But I'm quite happy with that, mate. That will do. No, no, it was a pleasure, and uh, you know, it's, I hope uh, the the podcasting and uh, you know everything else keeps going because. Yeah, yeah, hey, well, you know, you seem to have a knack for it, and you seem to enjoy it. So YouTube training, man. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> so well, YouTube that's YouTube where it all comes in. from, man. That's where it all comes from. You got to learn it you from somewhere. You can get a PhD on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's quite that, true. That's a lie. I don't think you can. No, yeah, no. <laughs> you could try. <laughs> you try it now, yeah. But, um, but yeah, check out the Celtic Cup at the end of this month. Yeah, twenty seventh of 27th April, I believe. Twenty seventh of yeah. April, and that's going to be great. I can't go, so someone needs to go and tell me how it is. Yeah, well, but, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we might do some live streaming. Well, it's actually up at your your uh, your home course. It is, yeah. It's yeah, it's at Halifax. Halifax. Yeah, I should yeah. know more about this. Yeah, <laughs> come on, get with the program. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, well, obviously, if anybody goes down or whatever who wants to live stream it, that'd be great. Yeah. You know, so Might have a, I think I said to have a word with Fred, see if Fred was available. Yeah. Obviously, he's in Dartford, isn't he? Yeah. But you never know. He's he's keen. He'll do something like that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. No, cool. thanks for that, mate. No, no, thank you. Uh, it's been a pleasure, Jack.